Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we have an awesome free product that's currently in beta for Godot developers and what this is called is GOTM or Game of the Month and it is pretty much as close to a one-click publishing solution for hosting Godot games online as you are going to find. And did I mention it is free? Because yeah, it is. So this is actually easy enough. I'm just going to show you hands-on exactly how to use it. And the first thing you need to do is head on over to the website. As I mentioned early on, it is GOTM.io and you will be greeted by this page. So if you want to come and play a bunch of games, you can do so, but we're more interested in publishing games. Now you can log into this service through a couple different logins, uh, Gmail, Twitter, GitHub, uh, and one other that I'm forgetting about. And once you've actually logged in and created your account, you can come on in here and go to your dashboard. But instead, we'll show you a quickie way. Go to your web player. And you'll notice here, all you gotta do is drag in a pack file from Godot. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a pack file from Godot. So here you see I've got Godot, this is 3.2 beta 5, which by the way, uh, Godot 3.2's first release candidate was also just released today, if you're interested in that. Uh, but here you see I've got a game ready to go, now what we need to do is export it. Now if you don't know how to do exports, how to install export templates and all that stuff, I just did a tutorial on that. So if you want, check that out, I will link that down below. Uh, but really straightforward, basically once you've got your export templates installed, come on up here and click and pick a platform. So I'm going to do Windows desktop in this case and you're going to see now we have the option to export a PK um, a PCK file out and this has all of the contents of our game in it. Now I'm using one of the default games called Dodge the Creeps. It's part of the demo package. You can use whatever game you've obviously got at this point and once you're ready to go just go ahead and export that out. Now me being me this means I am exporting it out to my temp of course and we'll call this Gotham uh, dot PCK. All right go ahead save that out. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. So we've now exported our game out as a PCK file. Uh, if I go to my temp folder, which is probably getting a little large at this point in time, uh, you should see I have Gotham.pck right here, a two megabyte file. Uh, now what I want to do is head back on over here, see we can do a drag and drop or we can browse files. Let's do this the drag and drop way. So grab that guy, find our file. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? There it is and drop. All right, so there we go. Oh, do you literally have to drop it on the square? All right, just a sec. And drop. All right, there we go. We pick which version we are running. So we are running 3.2. You'll notice in 3.2, C-sharp is currently not supported. Considering 3.2 is still a beta or at least today a release candidate, it's impressive that it supports it at all. And yeah, we're good. Go ahead. And now what it's doing is basically gamifying your game. And here you go. Dodge the Creeps is now uploaded and ready to play. Um, you can, this entire site, by the way, is donations based. So if you like what you see, uh, you can buy them a coffee. Uh, but yep, that was the PK. It's, we've got it. We've uploaded it. Uh, so we'll call this guy, uh, what is this called? Uh, creeps. Now, the first time you do this, you'll have to pick your uh, your name to use or your URL to use. So this is going to be available at gotm.io, and then I did game from scratch, obviously. It needs to be at least six characters, I believe it was, and then the name of your game, and then we'll click continue, and we've basically just published our title, or we're, we're publishing our title, so we'll give this a second to run. There you go. Our game is up and running. The last thing you need to do is provide a thumbnail. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, thumbnail for this video which is this guy right here, and there you go. So I've got a thumbnail for my game. Uh, we could set other things here. So the package is already up. You can pick your target platform. So in this case, I'm gonna target desktop only. Uh, we're gonna tag our game. So we'll call this one an awesome, and it's a game. All right, so there we go. We've got our tags in. Uh, oh, I guess it's one at a time. So it's an awesome, and we'll tag that. And then game, and we'll tag that. And it's a romance title. And we'll tag that. All right, so we got our tags set up so people can actually find your game by tags. And you can do a save and keep it offline. But what I want to do at this point in time is go ahead and publish my game. Once you've got it, click the checkbox. And your game is now officially ready to play. Now, I actually don't recall this game, if it has any sound or not. I believe it does. So sound warning coming up. Now that I've got a game uh, available, I can go ahead and launch it right here. So I'm just click this URL. You see it's going to launch to Gotham forward slash game from scratch forward slash creeps. And that is a Godot game completely hosted in the browser. Ta-da! And...
get rid of the audio. That's it. That is all you need to do to host your games online. And then if you want people to play them, you literally just take that URL and share it with people. And that is that. So pretty cool. You've got management of your game. So I published the uh, isometric demo earlier on. So you can see if you want to go ahead and try that out, it is available there as well. So you see this one, same URL, game from scratch forward slash ISO. And there is the game, the um, Godot examples ISO format, so the isometric example from the Demo projects running in a browser. So if you want to host your game online, this has got to be about the easiest way that exists out there. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, they seem to be entirely donation-based, so if you want to help them out, they have that Buy Us a Coffee link. Uh, if you're interested in where they're going with things, so here's the publishing we've dealt with so far. We've got some advanced options right here. Mostly this is just change your handle and delete your game. Um, but there's more coming. So speaking of coming, what are they working on for game of the month coming up? Well, here you can see the roadmap. So the immediate things, automatic compression, navigation system 2.0, lazy loading, developer statistics, search browse, and leaderboards. Uh, and then we're going to see things like an overlay menu, studio subscriptions, studio donations, comments, automatic P PCK versioning, uh, private testing, remote play together. That'd be really cool. Uh, rating system, game card, recently played. And then we've got things like achievements, video sharing, profile page, badges, and game bookmarking. So at some point in time, uh, this is actually going to be a more robust system, kind of a lot of the gaming stuff that, or ecosystem stuff that you normally expect from something like uh, Steam games or um, Epic Game Store eventually. Uh, so the common uh, Xbox Live or PlayStation 4, the kind of leaderboard and, and friend stuff and that kind of stuff is all coming at some point in the future. So it's a really interesting service uh, with where they're at and where they're going. Also, you can come on in here and check out some of the other games that have been published. So they are available up here. And I thought there was a more, where's the more button? I'm not sure where the more button is. But anyways, this is uh, it. Again, if you like what they're doing, it is entirely donation based right now. So if you want, you click that link and you can uh, help donate to support game of the month. Very interesting project. So this is um, an online hosting service for your Godot games. Basically, all you gotta do is create a PCK file, which you'd kind of do anyways, and publish it up. You get a URL of your choosing, and it is completely free for you. And then you get back to your dashboard. You can notice up here at the top right, click to your dashboard, and here you've got control over everything. You've also got setups and control over your studio page. So this is what Game From Scratch looks like uh, right now. So if you wanted to come in here, uh, game, from scratch is super awesome and kind of amazing most of the time the rest of the time it is shh anyways so that is one way you do it you can do an icon for your home page as well have your own logo up so that is your your launch page and you can see a preview of how your stuff looks this is super super easy and straightforward to work with I, i'm impressed especially for such an early beta release and again this is all free um, so uh, if you want to check that out it is gotm.io uh, a really kind of a cool project let me know what you think comments down below and i will talk to you all later goodbye